Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zach and today we're looking at Ecomi Omi VV stuff as per usual. Currently the price 0.002671 on low of 0.002622 and a high of 0.02834. Obviously nothing really changing too much. Now today I actually want to do a bit of a reaction of a certain very important segment is what I'm trying to say um, of the clubhouse that Reese and Trevor put, partaked in, partook in, not sure the right word. Uh, regardless, they were there and they were answering questions. Now, one question that keeps coming up, uh, which I think would be really good to address here, is about augmented reality and virtual reality and what Vivi's plans are for that. Now, we're going to listen to Trevor, who is, for those of you who don't know, the Ecomi lead content producer who works, obviously, on Vivi. So, without further ado, we're actually going to be reacting to my own video, um, hence why you can see there's a, a double face cam here, because uh, that's me behind, which you can't see, unless I, I guess I... I if I do this, you'll see me. There we go. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to put my face cam over this one. If you hear random laughing, that's me reacting. That being said, let's jump into it. That's all right. Uh, the, the one thing I wanted to have asked was um, the um, AR for PCs, like HoloLens and Oculus and stuff like that. Are you guys looking at that? Mm, Trevor? Uh, mm. <laughs> right now we're going to start with trying to let's just get it onto pc and then we'll figure out how we want to do ar and ar functionality uh using pc um hololens is a weird platform for us to go after right now because it's so niche and uh, for me again it's like let's see how we can get to make this as accessible as possible to as many yeah. people so we can get as many people in so to have that vision but then run in the direction of literally the most expensive piece of hardware on the market. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. dev kits are what, eight grand or something? Yeah, eight grand. And then the consumer version, and I'm using heavy air quotes around consumer, is 3,500. But you can get a discount, yeah. all the 50%, all the way down to 1,700. You, you can, you can rent them for 100 bucks a month, I think. <laughs> yeah, I, it's, the point is, it's not going to take a while on, no, no, on no. that platform. Um, but it's something we, again, we want to have that fun functionality as many places as possible um Available to and, and, across, like, yeah. yeah and a platform agnostic future is ultimately what we want to move for so just because something if some feature doesn't exist on one platform doesn't mean if you're on that platform you won't have access to it because you should be hopefully you'll be able to access every uh uh things through multiple platforms and move things across Hard, i mean hardware is a delivery system for the software for the VV verse for all this stuff. That's like kind of how I view it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, look, if you if you get it onto consoles, I'll send you a slab of VB Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be happy about it. Trust. Me. Okay, so <clears throat> I want to actually have a look at something um, on YouTube. Um, some of you will have seen this already, and if you have, that's awesome, but some of you won't have, so it's time to talk about it. Uh, is I want to have a look at HoloLens specifically, in fact. Let's have a look at HoloLens. What shall we look at here? There's a lot of them to go through. Uh, I guess we could have a look at this real quick. This is what. Let's turn the music off. <clears throat> this is what. Um, this is what we're seeing with Dynamics 365 guides. Never actually watched this before, but I know it's going to be something to do with HoloLens, and I think it'll be helpful. Something actually that I'm already seeing here. This looks kind of industrial sciencey, etc. Now, someone actually asked. Um, in the VV Clubhouse, and you'll see if you watched the, vid the video that I posted yesterday. Someone asked about whether or not VV will go into education as well, because you know the technology basically that we're seeing here is what we would like to see with VV, right? You know, as far as augmented reality and sort of using Hololens to look through this stuff, right? Now, first of all, I want to actually say they haven't spoken about VR here. I just realized they're speaking about AR. However, they have spoken, specifically Trevor has spoken about how VR just is not there yet. And very similar, this isn't what Trevor has said verbatim, but very similarly, VR just is not consumer centric right now. Now, some people will disagree, but I think a lot of people and really the market decided that right now at least, and I'm not saying forever, someday it will be really helpful, I'm sure, maybe. Uh, but basically, I'm not someone who hates on virtual reality. I think it's really cool. But as far as the market is concerned, as far as mainstream adoption is concerned, it's just not there yet. Having said that, uh, let's keep watching. So as we can see here, this woman has the HoloLens on and she's currently looking at some sort of interface that we would normally see on a tablet or mobile or on a computer screen, uh, but currently is in the air, right? 
So as we can see, they're essentially going to use this as a tool. Now, VV have specifically said, mainly Reese, who is the uh, lead comms uh, on VV, he has said that they currently have no plans to go into education. And part of the reason for that is that VV is meant to be about premium digital collectibles you know the whole part of it is really about licensing uh how can you license education that's difficult to get through um at the same time i do think that with the company being so early on they may shift their strategy they may play with things as it makes sense uh but right now at least i don't think we can expect it on here and actually this video is uh pretty far away from what we were looking at now this specifically actually is what we were looking at before some of you may have watched this already uh the video that i put out on this actually did kind of well i think maybe 500 views or a thousand views which for a channel that's this size i'm very appreciative of having said that we've got to run through the ads get through all that good stuff because i do not have ad block because as a YouTuber myself, I feel weird putting an ad block on. Now, we're not going to go through this entire video, but essentially, as you can see, uh, this woman, she has HoloLens on her on her face. And now already we're seeing some really interesting animations going on around her hand. Now, I believe here uh, her hands are essentially being calibrated. And then what can lead on to this will come up in a few seconds. It's very exciting, but we'll see essentially interfaces like we've already seen prior to this video we saw interface as well she's about to come up with a whole new interface where already this whole uh, environment has been mapped out now this is something that vb definitely wants to get into you know we've seen with the vbverse that they want to you know they already have a showroom for us and all this other stuff uh, but i think the augmented reality side of things looks really really interesting so right now of course we can see that they had i think they've opened up a, an application called spatial which is actually a part of holland now keep in mind again that what trevor has said is that it's not in the direct plans to be on holland or to work with holland we have made a video showing that actually ecomi and microsoft do have a relationship uh, that spans around holland so I'm sure the technology is something that the team really have been looking into and want to do. But at the same time, it's really important, of course, that Vivi has something uh, that is tangible right now that works out and that can actually be scaled to mass markets. This is why we have RNCPMK, uh, the marketing firm um, on there. We have another agency, which I honestly don't believe we actually know the name of right now. But essentially, as this grows the way this grows is through mainstream adoption you know more and more people which is why obviously vb is going to uh, comic-con san diego online um the whole point here is that vb needs to grow and the way that they grow through premium digital collectibles is by actually building a mainstream audience through disney ips through well, obviously that isn't confirmed yet but it's very likely also looking at confirmed ips like viacom cbs of course i believe they actually uh, own paramount pictures if i'm not mistaken they definitely have nickelodeon for sure and of course then we have star trek jurassic world etc so you know the whole thing here is that uh, there needs to be mainstream adoption. These are all mainstream brands I've just spoken about. Pixar, Lucasfilm, etc. Paramount. Now, how is that meant to work when mainstream adoption isn't necessarily with HoloLens or isn't necessarily with AR goggles or VR goggles or lens or whatever it might be? And so I think that's why it's going to take a while. It's not necessarily that's not going to happen. But it's going to take a while before Vivi actually heads over to this end of things. Having said that, thankfully... I don't believe, and please link me if I'm wrong here, like please link me in the comments or tell me, I don't think there are any companies out there that are doing what Vivi is doing already with HoloLens or something like it. If they are, please let me know in the comments below. But of course, Vivi, I think a lot of what investors, OMI investors, and of course this is not financial advice, but just discussing things, OMI investors, of course, will want to see really interesting stuff come up very soon, as we already are. Unfortunately, a lot of crypto investors understandably want to see things that are more crypto related, when what's really important here is that VV itself is built for mainstream adoption. This currently is not mainstream adopted. It's awesome. It looks cool. I love it. I am an enthusiast myself, but I'm also a marketer. I'm also someone who actually enjoys business and understanding markets, understanding uh, consumer life cycle, etc. So I'm very excited excited for when this does happen but personally I think that this could be uh, maybe five years away maybe even more maybe less honestly it's very difficult to tell but we have to be careful about what we speculate with because at the end of the day there are investments going on here that being said like I say not financial advice always just interesting stuff to discuss but with that being said let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below I'm very excited for whatever's to come and I truly do believe that we're going to be seeing some really interesting announcements especially come as it July for Comic-Con San Diego 
make sure to follow this channel for constant updates with that because I will be covering everything going on and also make sure as well to follow me on Twitter at Zaki Zoo, which I'll show you right now because I do tweet a lot about this stuff. I actually recently looked at the fact I also um, show some. Uh, why do I have? Why, why does it say potentially sensitive content? That's not. Oh, maybe it's because um, walking for. Okay, I see why. Regardless, though, yeah, I think there. I think there was a debate there, but regardless, if you have a look at this, you know, we, this isn't about. Actually, this isn't specifically about BV collectible, but at the same time, it does definitely go into and bridge into that conversation of which licenses will we see for nfts so if you're interested in this video right here i actually react to the entire thing we we analyzed it it's on the channel already people seem to enjoy it i really appreciate that but with that being said follow me on twitter subscribe to me on youtube if you want to be kept thing happening have a great day and i'll see you in the next video